everybody, welcome back to Thieges YouTube. Pretty much what I do here is I review the most interesting notebooks to come through the PC market, and what I have for you today is from... <laughs> Samsung! This is the NP305 3 Series Notebook. He MSRPs for about $500, and he includes AMD's new APU, the A6-3400M. It's a quad-core 1.6 GHz CPU mated to a 6520G Radeon GPU. Now, for $500, you may be wondering, is it actually worth it? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Samsung is a company that is most well known for its high quality electronics and increasingly for their mobile phones. Well, they also make high quality notebooks and they're well known for their style, performance, and desirability. This notebook, the NP305, is part of Samsung's 3 Series, a line of notebooks built for the budget conscious consumer. With an MSRP of $500, this notebook comes loaded with the AMD A6 APU, a 1.6 GHz quad-core CPU mated to a Radeon 6520G GPU, 4GB of DDR3 RAM, a 320GB 5400RPM hard drive, all stuck to a 15.6-inch 720p matte screen. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. The Samsung box that it comes in maintains the company's simple styling presence. What's nice about this notebook is that it comes with recovery media, indeed a rare sight in the big league OEMs. Firmly secured in the box, the NP305 comes in a thick plastic wrapping, and the battery is the typical 6L, with a power adapter that is smaller than the average 15.6 inch notebook adapter. The lid takes two hands to open, and booting to that window means that Samsung engineers tested the boot process before it left the factory. Already from the get-go, the NP305 is a very different notebook experience than anything I've had in the past. Upon first boot, I was asked if I wanted my computer to talk to me in Spanish or English, an irreversible choice. There's also a partition manager utility that can either leave your hard drive whole or split it in two. The battery life of this 3 series notebook isn't anything special. Under internet work use, you'll net around three hours. Let's see what all those holes in the side do. On the front is the card reader. On the right, we have the DVD-RW drive, two USB ports, and a lock slot. There's nothing on the back, though it is quite stylish, and on the left we have the DC in, LAN, the vent, VGA, HDMI, the third USB port, and mic and headphones in. It's as simple as connections get on modern notebooks. The top of the notebook features a nice grooved finish that doesn't accumulate fingerprints, save for the Samsung logo naturally. The Samsung seems to be the most prudish notebook I've reviewed so far. The one screw that holds the bottom cover on is as tricky as a chastity belt, requiring an especially small Phillips head screwdriver to remove. In other words, my tool is too big for this Japanese design notebook. The only glossy part of this notebook is the black area surrounding the keyboard. Everything else will not reveal fingerprints. The overall styling impression is simple, yet rather elegant for a $500 notebook. Although Samsung makes some of the highest quality televisions, don't expect a miracle with the screen. Although I have to say that the viewing angles are less narrow than on the cheaper notebooks I've reviewed, like the lower quality HPs, Acers, and the Lenovo. Samsung even incorporates color calibration for when you're watching movies. Also, it is a matte screen, so direct light reflections are going to be heavily reduced, and it still gets plenty bright. The tilt angle isn't impressive, but it's just enough for use on your lap. The keyboard functions well enough. You will not experience missed keystrokes, and the feedback is predictable, though I do have a few keys that squeak on me. The finish on the keys won't wear easily, and the 10-key numpad has a larger plus key, but the zero key isn't double wide. Seems to be an aesthetic over functional choice. The touchpad functions perfectly well. It has a large surface area, the keys are separate, large, rather noisy, and easy to push down. It will then get in the way of your typing, unless you adjust your hand position to where it probably should be anyway, which is elevated above the keyboard. It can be disabled via hotkey, and can be set to turn off when a USB mouse is plugged in. The NP305 has two speakers. If you need to hear sound, they'll give it to you. There's no bass whatsoever, and the volume is comparatively low. For decent sound, plug in two tweeters and a woofer. In the headphones, the sound is EQ towards the bass line, but only slightly, skewing a perfect balance for a heavier low end, which seems to be the style these days anyway, unfortunately. Then there's the very subtle reverb effect, which may take some getting used to. On to gaming. 
Just like the speakers, if you need to play games, this Samsung 3 Series notebook will play them. They'll play in the lowest detail settings, but they'll play. Compared to the A4 and the HP G4 I reviewed last, the performance is a letdown. I've read that the A6 APU is capable of more than the A4, but when it comes to the Samsung, this simply isn't the case. And despite having a slightly more powerful GPU, the performance is identical. Although it may not be the case, I'm blaming the lack of performance on Samsung, who opted for a quiet notebook experience over a performance-oriented one. The fan itself is almost never audible, mostly because it hardly ever spins at all. Plus, on top of that, there's silent mode, where the fan spins even more softly. The end result is a downclocked APU that runs at suitable temperatures, though it does heat up the bottom of the chassis considerably. I've been using my notebook cooler while playing games on this notebook. Otherwise, during normal use, it's cool enough to use on your lap. In conclusion, students get a thumbs up. It's the most silent notebook I've reviewed to date, it's easy to use, and light enough not to put a burden on your shoulder. The battery life isn't stupendous, but it'll last you through at least one class period. Casual gamers beware, there are uglier notebooks available for a tad bit more scratch, with real GPUs for innards. There's no such thing as competitive gaming on this notebook, and desktop replacement seekers will balk at the lack of performance from the A6 APU. Business users are okay with the inclusion of the 10 key numpad and elegant styling. It's no ultrabook, but you'll fool your clients into thinking that you spent way more for your notebook than you actually did. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching my feature presentation of the Samsung 3 Series MP305 notebook. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, post a link to this video on your Facebook page, and now, stay tuned for gameplay footage. Thanks again for watching, and you guys, have a good night.